Okay, this is uh, YouTube about uh, writing the Python program to uh, approximate, approximate uh, pi. And so let me start by defining a function main. And um, as you um, should recall, uh, pi is, uh, is equal to this series, 4 divided by 1 minus 4 divided by 3 plus 4 divided by 5 minus 4 divided by 7 <coughs> dot dot dot. So um, I'm going to clearly need an accumulator to put all these different terms in. So I'm going to start by um, setting the accumulator, an accumulator equal to 0. Set it's going to be a sum accumulator, sum accum to zero. Um, then I'm going to get uh, the number of terms uh, the user wants to compute by doing um, an eval input. How how many terms? Um, okay, so I know that the first denominator, and I'm talking about this guy right here, if you see my mouse, first denominator is equal to 1, so I'm going to initialize denom to 1, and the first denominator is positive, and so I'm going to initialize the sign of the first term to plus 1. <coughs> And then, since I want n terms, I'm going to have a loop that goes n times for i in range n. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take um, the old sum. Um, I'm going to take the old sum, um, which is on the right-hand side of the equal side, and I'm going to add it to SIGN divided by denom. And uh, while I'm working on getting the program um, to do everything successfully, inside the loop I'm going to print out the value of i, which is the loop counter here. i is the loop variable, um, which I'm not explicitly using inside the loop, as, as you can see. And uh, then I'm going to have it print out the sign um, times the denominator, and then I'm going to have it print out the sum. <clears throat> then, before I go back for the next iteration in the loop, I'm going to update denominator uh, by uh, increasing it by 2. And I am going to toggle sign like that. So every time, every time I go through the loop, <coughs> sign gets toggled. First time through the loop, it's positive, plus 1. The next time through the loop, it's minus 1. And uh, let's just run that. Um, so down here, I'm going to run, run it as main. Move this all the way over. Um, and I'm going to save it as... Um, pi prox dot py. Like that. Okay, let's go ahead and run this guy. How many terms? Okay, let's do uh, five terms. Let's do six terms. So here you can see the loop variable. Uh, since I'm going through the loop six times, here is the loop variable starting from zero and going through five. And so that's six times through the loop. And here's my denominators uh, times sign, one minus three, five minus seven, nine minus 11. So I'm getting both the odd numbers because I start with one and I add two every time through the loop. And I'm toggling SIGN every time through the loop. And, and, and this now is um, the sum, 
So if you look back at my program, this is the sum um, not of 4 over 1 minus 4 over 3 plus 4 over 5 minus 4 over 7, but what I'm computing here is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 4 over 7 minus 4 over 3 plus 4 over 5 minus 4 over 7, excuse me. So I'm off by a factor of 4, and so um, if you like, um, I can, in this term right here, I can stick 4 times. Because that'll put 4 in the uh, numerator for me. So let's save that and rerun it. And, uh, um, and so what you can see um, what's happening as I, as I come down here. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm getting closer to and then further away from pi if I'm reading this correctly. So let me now... Um, looks like it's working, I think. And so let me put a final print statement at the, at the, at the bottom. Um, and I'll do it like this. Pi approx is sum and pi is math.pi math.pi like that now if I'm going to use math.pi I have to import the math uh, module and so uh, let me go up here and uh, we will do import math so that I have access to uh, math.py. Um, and I don't want this to be in the loop, so I, I need to unindent it, and I'll let something like that. And I don't want this print statement, uh, and so I'm not going to erase it, I'm just going to comment it out like that. So let's save that, and um, let's run it. for, uh, just like I did in class, let's run it for a thousand terms. Okay, so my approximation is 3.14059 and uh, pi is 3.14159, so um, I'm off by roughly double zero one, roughly.